Sorry. I uh, just came by to get yeah. the keys that I lent to Jessica. Go ahead and grab them. That's, excuse okay. the mess, though. It's, it's all me. Sorry. Yeah, nice try. I know my sister. But the mess uh, must be a good sign. You two must be doing well. Yeah, yeah, we are. You and John? Great, actually. And I, I think it's a good idea that, that we didn't tell anyone what happened that night. Hey. Hi. Hi, I just uh, I came, came by to, to get these. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> what, are you worried that I think something was going on between you and my man? <laughs> yes. Yeah, this is Lieutenant John McBain at the Landview, Pennsylvania PD. Yeah, we, we have reason to believe a suspect in an attempted murder here may have traveled into your jurisdiction in Delaware. Her, na her name is Hannah O'Connor. You can't sleep. I keep thinking about Star in that room. In bed with that guy. I mean, she says she needs some time to think. Stop thinking. So let's be clear, okay? I need to know that you're gonna call up the dogs the moment I get the dough. You know me? Kid, I'm only trying to get back what was lost. You're a young man at the country club today. My young man. <laughs> what is this, 1810? Oh, should I call him your nephew? Mom! <laughs> Nate's just... What? It's just great. Yeah, there he is. My little cougar tamer. Oh, my God. What? I left Vicky a veritable feast and the best tanning day of the entire year because I'm supposed to be keeping my eye out for you while Mom and Pa are on their honeymoon. I educated you on the ways of the enfant terrible. Look at you. You're still moping around because Danielle dumped you. Thanks. Now I feel better. Oh, good. Glad to hear it. Because that's one thing about hitting the bottom of the barrel. Nowhere to go but up. Want to bet? Look who's here. Oh, no. Look who's here. Yeah, I want you to stay on Hannah O'Connor. I just want you to find my daughter for You said you had a lead. Yeah. It's a still from the dealership surveillance camera. Who's the guy? Yeah, I don't know, but he looks familiar to me. So I have your word, right? I give you the money, and you won't hurt anyone. Not unless I have to. some chill out music on my mp3 player <laughs> no i like it quiet when i sleep really how does that work with a baby perfect you know, i wake up the second that hope cries and star gets to sleep in a little can't stop thinking about her roll over what roll over I'll help you relax. Okay. Um, so, sorry, I didn't, I didn't know you guys were... No big I, deal. I should go. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, 
Has my sister always been a big weirdo? You've known her longer than I have. Well, what, since when has she been scandalized by walking in on us? Well, maybe she just wanted to give us some privacy. Well, it's a good thing she didn't walk in 15 minutes ago. That was quite a workout. Well, it's a good thing you brought back some provisions. Well, we are going to need some energy for round two. It's round two, huh? Mm -hmm. Right. Why does he have to be here now? Honey, I thought you were going to ease up on Todd. Todd? No, I was talking about Matthew. Things are still awkward between you. Oh, please, I'd kill for awkward. Things went from awful to full-on hostile, like the day that I talked to him. Yeah, he was quite taken with you. Taken. Mom, why are you turning into Jane Eyre all of a sudden? <laughs> what would you say? Crushed out, totally down. Doesn't matter what I'd call it. Matthew called it love. He told me he loved me. Sweetheart, you say all kinds of things when you're young. Okay, next time you try to ground me for my smart mouth, I'm totally quoting you for that. <laughs> you can punish someone and still understand the reasons for what they do. Like you understand Todd? Can we not argue about your father right now? Yeah, well, he's got to learn. Just because things don't go your way doesn't give you a pass to act like a jerk. Has Matthew been giving you a hard time? Not so much me, but Nate. You should have seen him earlier at the country club. Nate works there now, and Matthew was treating him like dog meat. No, worse, and just because he can. That's not good. Destiny said that, that Matthew's cool now. But you're not buying it? I know that he's still upset at me because I didn't want to be his girlfriend. Honey, look, you can break up with someone and not have to run and hide. Matthew will get over it, okay? Just give him time. Me, F A W N would spell relief. You want me to call Fawn? I programmed her into your cell phone. Let little Miss South Pacific over there see you in the company of a real woman. Okay, do you not realize that this is our grandmother's hotel? Do you not realize that she doesn't have a problem with P R O S T I T U T I O N? Uh, Dad will if she tells him that I'm here with a working girl. Evening consultant. Whatever. I'll be grounded for the rest of my life. Uh, maybe you're right. She didn't do anything to help you get over Danny, did she? All right. Plan B. I'll go throw my drink in her face. No, 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 no. Plan C. I'll take care of it myself. How are you going to do that? Don't worry about it. It's a done deal. We don't worry about things. We talk behind people's backs. We're Buchanans. You start. Okay, as mad as I was at Danny, I was even more mad at Nate. So I found out a way to get some revenge. Meet me at 8 tomorrow night at the abandoned barn off 23A, and there better not be any screw-ups. This could turn out twice as good as I thought. Look, I don't know what you want with me, but... You do. I think you got something that belongs to me. What are you talking about? You don't want to lie to a man with a gun, do you? Now tell me where the 50 grand is. I didn't think that we were going to give him $50,000 in cash. The guy was practically foaming at the mouth. Okay, I didn't think he'd be interested in the details. We're giving him a new car instead. That's not exactly a detail. Bull's chopped a lot of cars before. He'll know this one's worth more than I own. <sighs> so this will be over with by tomorrow. Yeah. And you can go back home to your daughter. And your boyfriend. Cole has so much to deal with lately. I just hope he's not too worried about me, too. All the bad things, all that you're missing, all that you've lost, forget about all of it. Put it all out of your mind. It doesn't exist. Not here, not now. Just concentrate on all of the good things in your life. Everything you still have. Your 
daughter hope, your freedom, and me. standing there just a minute i saw that you were really focused and i didn't want to interrupt yeah we may have a lead on this hannah o'connor really you know where she is maybe i am um, i actually may be hitting the road pretty soon oh huh, i guess that means dinner's out huh seems like i see less of you ever since we got back together i'll make it up to you when this is over I'm just messing with you. I, I'm not. I'm not here to take you out to dinner. I'm actually here to uh, tell you some news. It's it's good news for for me, and I'm I'm hoping it is for you too. I don't know what I want to hear first. Why you're at the country club spending all of Pa's hard-earned money without me, or what exactly you did to get back at this Nate guy? I found out something about him. What was that? Something that could get him into trouble. And you used it against him. My little brother. So proud of you. Revenge does a body good, huh? Felt good at the time knowing that Nick could get hurt, but now I'm just kind of worried. About what? That the guy I sicked on him might do some serious damage. I swear I don't have your money. I, I really don't. Not anymore. But you did? I found it a while back at the quarry, and I was going to return it, but I didn't know whose it was, so I gave it away. Well, who'd they give it to? It doesn't matter. It's gone. <sighs> it doesn't take a genius to figure it out. Your girlfriend, that pretty young thing that I saw you locking lips with. Leave Danny out of this. I hope you're right, and Matthew gets over this soon. He will, sweetheart. It takes too much time and energy to stay mad at someone forever. Hey, mind if I join you guys? Fine. Ugh. You can sit. Mm. So, I got your message. Um, so, Hannah O'Connor is the one who bludgeoned the water fort half day. Yeah, I will have no fury. Turns out Hannah was crazy. Turns out Nora doesn't have any witnesses. I'll see what I can do about getting the charges against you dropped. Okay, great. What's wrong? You can stay here and tell us, or you can go somewhere else and be mysterious. Your choice. Uh, let's start. What about her? Uh, apparently she's gone missing. Nobody can reach her. What? Some guy at the country club found her phone. Some guy? Yeah, I got it back from him, but oh. she hasn't tried to call it yet or anything. Is it that guy? No, some older dude. Hmm. See, I, I, that guy looks familiar to me. I don't know why. Yeah, this guy does look familiar. This was the guy who bumped into you at the hospital. Remember, he almost knocked you over? No, I remember thinking he must be in a hurry to get somewhere. I want to get away from somewhere. You're not the only one who's going to be relieved when this is all over. Why? So you could get back to your exciting life, stealing cars and chopping them up for criminals? Ouch. Okay, I thought we were bonding. <laughs> what? Ever since we've met, you have kidnapped me, you have forced me to commit Grand Theft Auto, and you've put my life in danger. It's not exactly the beginning of a lifelong friendship. Well, whatever it is that we've been doing these past couple of days, I'm not going to forget you when this is all done. Sweet dreams. I knew there had to be some kind of mistake. There was. We were the mistake, Cole. Hello, Anna. 
to your clinch. Uh, you must be looking for my grandparents. They, uh, they didn't come up this weekend. No, oh, I know. They, they told me they wouldn't be here. So, uh, are you up here all alone? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Uh, what, what's up? What are you thinking? How lucky I am to have my life back. It's not luck. You fought for it. You fought your way back to us. And you waited for months while I chased after my high school boyfriend. And none of that was your fault, Jess. Uh, but how many guys would have stuck around, you know? Not given up. I'm so blown away by you. I'm so blown away by you. You know, I think it's kind of a miracle that you and I have been able to pick up right where we left off. Except we haven't. Well, before you lost your memory, we were starting to talk about our future. About the life we wanted to build together. I remember. I think it's time to continue that conversation. So, uh, I retook the forensics exam a while ago and I passed. <laughs> and I was going to apply for a job here, but, you know, everything got really complicated. With Marty. Yeah, and I didn't think it was a good idea to work with you while you were with her. Yeah, I get that. But everything has changed now, and there's an FT who's relocating, so to make a long story short, Uncle Bo's offering me the job. And I really, really want to take this, as long as you're cool with it. Why wouldn't I be? Well, I mean, it means we're going to be working cases together. So I'd, I'd be seeing more of you, huh? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, the, that wonderful part of me that's stubborn and strong-willed and persistent. Hmm, only at work. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to say that, you know, we, we might be butting heads. Might be butting heads. Okay, look, John, seriously, I would love to take this job. So if, if this is going to bother you, please just tell me now. No, Natalie, I think you have the talent to be anything you want to be in this world. And if this is what you want, all I can say is, how soon can you start? Um, right now. <laughs> Good. There's something I want you to look at. Yeah, I don't think there isn't any real danger, though. Stealing a car? No, the car was her graduation present, so I don't think she can be arrested. Yeah, but what if this boy made her do it? Well, it makes starting with anything. Got the lot said she was in total control, and she's the one who got in the car and sped away. This is insane. Yeah, played out crying about her, and you guys showed her going crazy. Now I gotta find Star. Well, Landview does have a police force. Yeah, and its main cop doesn't like me very much. Yeah, but its main cop cares about Star, so why don't you let John help? Uh, I've been there, I've done that. Now, if Star's in danger, I'm gonna find her myself. I'll do anything for my kids. All of them. Ah, youth. You remind me of myself 15 years ago. Don't you do the math. We're brothers. You have to watch out for me while I look out for myself. Now, tell me about your transgression. Okay, I found out Nate came into some money. Money? A lot of it. You buried the lead! Okay, so I heard this guy at the cabana talking on his cell phone about how he was missing some cash. You think Nate had something to do with it? I think so, yeah. So I ratted on him. You think I'm a snitch, don't you? I think you're a smart kid. A little devious, but mostly smart. Uh, Matthew, I think you did the right thing. I don't know. Are you kidding me? If this Nate guy was stupid enough to steal money and then he got caught, he deserves everything he gets. What if he gets more than that? Like what? That's the thing, I don't know. Except that this guy does not seem like the type to just politely ask for his money back. You've got it all wrong. I, I didn't give the money to Danny. She has nothing to do with this. So where's the dough? 
Uh, it, it's at my house. Let me go get it, and I can bring it back. <laughs> Do I look like I was born yesterday? I swear I will bring it back. Cross your heart and hope to die? <laughs> Is your nickname, right? <laughs> what are you gonna do? It's what you're gonna do. I can't believe Star would run off with some other guy. I mean, I know her and Cole have been having issues. But... Yeah, well, trying to kill your girlfriend's father tends to put a damper on any relationship. I gotta take this. You didn't tell her about the tumor, did you? Um, well, I, I told you I'm getting closer, you know. I was actually all set to, but then she told me that she has a new boyfriend, and I didn't want to spoil her happiness. Hey, Nate, are you off work? We could meet somewhere. Actually, something's come up. I need your help. So what are we supposed to do until tomorrow? We should get something to eat. I bet there's a drive through around here somewhere. A drive through We're wanted. Are you crazy? Okay, you're right. I'll take a walk and I'll find a place. Well, I'm not hungry. Stay here. You're not gonna leave me alone. So come with me. Forget it. I'm not leaving the car. It's the only thing that's gonna get us out of this mess. You sure you haven't done this fugitive thing before? Why? Because I have common sense. There. There's your common sense. Now, no one can drive it. So are you coming with, or what? Just go get your stupid food. Thanks for coming to check on me, but I'm fine. No, that's not why I'm here. Then why are you here? Why don't we just talk about it inside? With everything that's happened with Hannah O'Connor, there's some things I need to go over again. Marty's attempted murder. Yeah, well, Hannah was the chief witness against Manning. Mm. And now that she's been suspected of another crime, we need to re-examine the physical evidence. You, uh, you think you can handle it? I know how much this case means to you. It was your baby that died, and I know that you want the right person to go down for it, and I'm sure that Marty does too. Right now, I think Marty's more worried about Cole. He seems to have gone AWOL. What? Yeah, and he may be with his Hannah O'Connor. You're kidding. No, um, and you know, her obsession with Ford, uh, you know, nearly cost him his life. And she has feelings for, for Cole? It seems that way. She thinks that Marty may have poisoned Cole against her. Oh. So if Cole's with her... Then he might be her next fatal attraction. How could you do this to me? Do this to yourself, Cole. You're the one who pushed me away. You're the one who said that you didn't want to see me. It's all your fault. You can't come in. Um, <laughs> the place is a mess. Why well, it doesn't bother me. Well, it would bother my grandma. I mean, she would be really upset with me if I let anybody see her house like this. <laughs> Why don't you just let me know what I can do for you? I got a call from a Lieutenant McBain from uh, Landview PD. He says that you're wanted in connection with a crime. Attempted murder. The, uh, John McBain said that? That's, that's crazy. I mean, that's, that's a lie. Well, why would a police lieutenant lie to me about uh, this? Because I turned him down and he couldn't handle it. He's been harassing me ever since. Harassing you? All right, Hannah, if this is true... Chief Lynch, please. You've known my family forever. I mean, you've known me since I was a little girl. I'm no killer. I know. That's the part that kind of stretched it for me, too. I tell you what, let's just go down to the station and sort this out. Uh, I can't leave. Well, why not? <gasps> oh, my... Do you sneak much? 
Uh, oh, sorry it took so long, okay? My hunger got the best of me. Mmm. You know what? I don't know if I'm starved or if this is just the best burger I've ever had in my entire life. And these fries. Unbelievable. It's a good thing I got myself two of everything. Give me it. <laughs> Destiny told me I was being a jerk to Danny Nate. I knew I should have just walked away. Bite your tongue. Yield to your rival? Never. Proud of what you did. Now, obviously, you're not. This night's gonna be a bust unless I can make you feel better about that situation. So, Danny's got a new boyfriend, huh? She's over that Buchanan kid? Don't give her a hard time about this. Why would I do that? Why? This is good news. This is almost as good as Star getting over cold. Don't gloat, okay? She's still having a hard time with what happened between her and Matthew. Yeah. I'm gonna make a cake. You gotta break some eggs. <sighs> that is exactly the kind of thing you don't want to say to her. Especially since she's just starting to relax around you. <laughs> is she? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Didn't you see what just happened five, ten minutes ago? Yeah, show up and she leaves. No. You showed up, asked if you could sit down. She said yes. She got a phone call and left. Maybe. Come on, you know it's true. She's starting to accept that you're in my life, if not hers. I guess. Look, it's very important that that's what's happening. I can only hope that she... I was all the way towards accepting you before I'm uh, gone. What's wrong? Is this about the money we found? Yeah. Oh my God, did someone figure out that we found it? I think so. Well, how? I don't know. Why do you sound so weird? Is someone there with you now? Yeah. And he wants the money back. thought I'd lost you for good. And this was the part that was so unfair. That we wouldn't have a future together? Well, our whole life got shut down. And we hadn't been together that long. And there's all these things we hadn't done as a couple that we'd never get to do. Yeah, but, but now we can. You know, all the things we talked about and dreamed about, we never had a chance to share. Brody! Are we having a sleepover? Do you got drinks? I thought you didn't want anything. Are you kidding? Usually when people get food, they get drinks too. People maybe, but I was raised by wolves. At least wolves have manners. <laughs> <laughs> Look who's talking. You've got ketchup all over your mouth. A what? Hold on, hold on. I'll get no, it. No, I don't. Yeah, let me get it. Let me get it. <laughs> I got it. We should probably get on the road. I mean, we don't want to end up spending the night here. Right. We should probably get as close to the drop-off point tonight. You know, so that everything goes smoothly tomorrow. started you it was all you and you expect me to wait for you while you spend your life in prison get a clue it's over i've moved on what was that my cat um that's why I can't come with you. Still claw furniture. 
Well, I can send someone around you know, to pick actually, her up. But... Uh, no, I, I will come with you. You sure? Yes, you're right. We should talk about this at the station. But why don't you just give me a minute? I'll go inside and lock her in the bathroom and grab a few things, and I will be right out. All right, sure thing. What's wrong? Okay, there's a cop outside. He's here to take you for jumping bail. We have to get out of here. Come on. I'm probably going to regret this decision, but what do you think I should do? Let's think of what I would do and then do the opposite, because that's what Paul would do. I would lie, so you should fess up. I think you're right. I should tell Danny what I did. You can probably work in that her latest flavor's a thief, though. Wait a second. Hold on. Rule number one, when you're about to talk to the opposite sex, you should look and feel like a million bucks. Did I teach you nothing? All right, off you go. But your mom needed that money to save the house. Didn't she pay the bank with it? Not yet. I, I saw the check in the house this morning. So, listen, I can't get it myself. I need you to go to my house and pick up... <sighs> listen, girlie, you're going to get the money and you're going to bring it to me or you'll never see your boyfriend again. Who is this? What's your name? I'm the guy who's going to rip this idiot's face off if you don't do what I want. Okay, okay. Get my money! Okay! Now, do you hear me? Now! I said okay. Where do you want me to bring it? Call your boyfriend when you got it. He'll let you know. Nate? Nate? Danny, we need to talk. I can't right now, Matthew. <sighs> Fine. What do you say, Mommy? We having a sleepover? And you know what? I think that Brody has to work tonight. But I bet you very soon he'll be staying with us, okay? I hope that's okay with you. I want you to stay every night. I want you to be my daddy. So, I will uh, check in with you later. Okay. I'm going to start by reviewing all the evidence against Todd. Someday Manning's gonna get his, but not for a crime he didn't commit. Mm -hmm. What, no kiss? Nope, no kiss. What's the matter? Well, that was a stupid idea. That was fast. What happened? She completely blew me off. She didn't even want to hear what I had to say. I knew it. Nothing good ever comes from following your conscience. You know what? I don't even care what happens to Nate anymore. And you know what? I hope her heart gets broken when she finds out. I'm not saying for dessert. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm gonna head up. Already? Well, you, your trial starts right after the holiday, and I've got a motion to dismiss to prepare. I'll see you later, okay? What? Oh, uh, yeah. Did you mean it when you said that you'd do anything for your children? Of course. Good. Because I need your help. You better not hurt Danny. You just better hope she comes up with the money. You idiots are all alike. You all want to be heroes to your girls. So, you want help from me? As in me. Look, if you don't want to do it, then I'll just... No, no, no. I'll do it. I'm happy to do anything for you. You know that. You don't even know what it is yet. Don't worry about that. What do you need? $50,000. Are you 100% sure that bull is going to take the car instead of the cash? Stop. I told you. Once you chop it, the car is cash. All right, don't worry. Everything's going to be fine. So, can't wait until Cole and I are together again. I, I, I can't believe they're driving me here. I know. I tried to cover, but the cops saw through me, and we have to hurry. 
Maybe I should just turn myself in. I don't want you to get in trouble. What? No, you can't turn yourself in. They'll put you back in a jail cell. Look, don't worry about me, okay? If we can get over the border, we'll be fine. I don't know. Lieutenant McBain. Yeah, did you find the O'Connor girl? Yes, I did. Just waiting to bring her in. Waiting? Yeah, I gave her a couple minutes to go inside and get a few things together. Hey, Chief, listen to me. This girl is unstable and pretty desperate. I suggest you go in there and you get her. She's gone. You're not thinking that we're gonna sleep in the car tonight, are you? Well, it's the beauty about an SUV, right? Plenty of leg room. You can twist yourself into a pretzel if you want, but I'm taking the back. Okay, whatever you say, 24. I told you not to call me that. <gasps> James, there's an ad on the 